Get to that gun faster. This, get your hands, getting your hands to your pistol, get your gun out faster. That's all there is to it. So this is the gas on part, and this is gonna be the slightly gas off part here. As you go to presentation, you take the slack out of the trigger, that might be the part where you can gas off, where you get the dot or the front side post exactly where you want. But this is gas on, this can be gas off. So a lot of agencies do this, position one, position two, position three, position four. I don't preach that shit. I just, it's really one complete fast movement. Um, if you don't do the draw stroke enough, dry fire can help you. All you gotta do is take your gate, stand in front of a mirror, get a timer, and, and start doing it. And then if you really wanted to go faster, you could change this into a part time, right? These timers are awesome tools, and you can cut this down into tenths of a second, quarter of a second. And if, it, if a quarter of a second is where you wanna be here, if you wanna end up being here in a second, well, if it's four positions, one, two, three, four, give or take, this could be a quarter of a second. You can match your grip. And that's when your timer busts off. And so now you know you're moving fast enough to get close to that goal, right? Or this is three quarters of a second, whatever you want to do. But you get the idea that you can modify this timer the way you want to start figuring out how fast it is to get you to get the kind of gibber right? Gas on, gas off. Stand by, all from the surrender position. Yep, hands above his shoulders. Stand by! the slide lock so there's a lot of things that have to happen once my gun goes slide lock and you can tell obviously who cannot tell when their gun goes slide lock everybody knows right it's a violent action it comes back and stays there it should hopefully blocks have a an issue uh usually because it's operator induced but it is a flaw in my opinion anyways if the gun goes slide lock a lot of things are going to happen i have by the grace of god been given two hands which enables me with two thumbs so I can do fine motor skills with those thumbs. A lot of academies teach you that you can't do fine motor skills with thumbs, and I'm not sure why. Bam, 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 I'm out of ammunition. I'm immediately gonna let go of my non-firing hand and reach down in a sweeping motion to gather up that next magazine. I'm still paying attention to what's going on there and not here just yet. I'm gonna extend out as much as possible, and, and I'm also going to rotate my pistol slightly and then mash the button using a fine motor skill, mash my magazine release. So far so good, everything makes sense, right? What I don't wanna do is go in this position because I want gravity to take place, especially if it's a Glock. Glock uses a polymer body and a polymer magazine. My six hour does not. It's a metal magazine on a polymer body. If you run into the problem before you ever left the station house, you want to make sure all these come out cleanly, right? If they don't, then something's wrong with it. Address it, get rid of it, put a new one in. Hopefully you have the assets to do so. Back to the, the work at hand. Slide lock, two things going on. I'm breaking my non-firing hand. It's going to retrieve my magazine. This rotates slightly. This goes in, this comes out. Now my focal plane shift can now change from downrange to my potential threat to this, because this has to go in this Otherwise, this becomes a giant paperweight and totally useless. So I bring in my hand just slightly. Focal plane shift happens. Index finger. Naturally right here. This goes in there. Once the magazine is in the gun and I have tactile feel that it's locked in there, I'm going to rotate back towards my presentation and my shot because this is all ready to go. So I've lifted up my thumb just like I normally do when I use my grip. I'm going to 
see a gap, fill a gap with my non-firing hand, I'm going to activate the slide stop with my non-firing hand and go right back into presentation. That is, to me, the most economic way to do it, right? When it comes to movement economics, that's the best way for me to do it. Can you do it by using your your, uh, your firing hand? You can. You know, I'm not going to gig you, but I don't, if, if today's the thing, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this slingshot action go back into work because all you're doing is taking more time away from the, the task at hand. Anyway, it makes sense to everybody? We'll do it over and over again. shoulder he can move it. how you do it he just pulled the whole rifle over that time you can take a knee there if you like Overseas, I didn't have a real big ROE like you guys do, right? If somebody didn't cooperate with me, I got uh, what they were giving good news. Yeah, it's not that way for you. It's not that easy at all. It's a hard job you guys have, so hats off to you. So, that being said, but some static shooting, some shooting on the move, finally a big challenge in the end. Uh, we did some single, uh, we did some strong hand stuff, we did some weak hand stuff. Um, shooting on the move, laterally, forward. Uh, Put some stress inoculation on. We did some time stuff. We looked in the fishbowl. People can watch other people and hack on them as they shot uh, to add some pressure, uh, if any, you know, to it. Uh, but that's, uh, that's kind of what we do. Uh, shameless plug, DSM Consulting is me. It's John Kepman, this guy named Dylan Shorey, and a, and a woman named Rita who does all the marketing crap. Uh, it's not like a big deal, but it's not. We're very, very small fish in the sea of other large fishes. Um, but I think it's, to, to me, it's my sword is your shield completely. I love to get back. I want to get back. I'll drive fucking 10 hours to come up here to fuck around and drink bourbon with good people and, and shoot a lot of pistol and rifle. So, um, like I said, I just got, a, I got, I got back from pulling on the 6th, about 0 1 in the morning. Uh, I got a bed around 0 2. And then the rest of me fit one day and jump in the truck, go get John, come up here, work with you guys up here. So, so give me an excuse to see my mom and dad too in Pittsburgh. Um, yeah, so hats off to you guys. I appreciate it. I hope you learned something a little bit here and there. I don't want to take it, take it all with you. If you have any questions about anything at all, help, help yourself. Please ask. You know, one of the things I would do normally, and John can attest to this too, once we're finished at the range, everything's done, armor's off, helmets are off, whatever. You know, grab a bottle of bourbon, grab a beer. Uh, oftentimes, they just talk after action review throughout, and they just talk about one question or another. Hey, what about this? Or hey, what about that? 